Hey everybody and welcome to this very first episode. In this episode we're going to go over where to get your textures and how to size them correctly. So let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see here, I have my internet browser open and I have three tabs. These textures are all royalty free from NASA, from the Visible Earth Project. And that's one really great thing about NASA because we would have to create all of these on our own but they have thankfully just provided this for people. So I'll provide these links in the description down below. Um, but just so you can see what I did, I came first here to the blue marble clouds and I went ahead and I got the clouds combined 2048.tiff. The next one I got is the topography. This is we're going to use as a bump map. And then the final one I got, I believe this is the December Topobathy is what it's called. So we're going to use these images as textures, but first we have to size them correctly because, for instance, this, you can see up here at the top, this particular image is uh, 21,600 pixels by 10,800, and that is awesome. It's a lot of pixels but it also is a little bit too big for what we're going to try and do. So I've gone ahead and downloaded all three of those textures and now I'm just going to open up XN Convert. This is a free image conversion software and I'll just drag all of my images right here. And next I'm going to just clear all of these actions and then I'm going to add an action, come here to Image and Resize and then I'm going to take the mop mode and turn it to longest side and I want the longest edge to be 4,096 uh, 4, we're just going to use a full standard 4k format so I'll go ahead and OK that and then come here to output and I'll just select this textures path and go ahead and put that path here or I could just click source folder and then next but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave I'm going to have it say file name underscore small and then I want to make sure that the format is set to JPEG PNGs are probably better but we're going for quick and easy here um, and so we're just going to use JPEGs for that so and then I'll just go ahead and click convert Okay, the conversion is done. And you can see here, now I have a, this is 1.79 megabytes, whereas before it was 2.56. That is the first step. Thanks for watching this episode. If you liked what you learned here, please like and subscribe the video. Leave a comment if you have something to say, and I will see you next time.